when you look at the Arctic, you know, it's the world's smallest ocean. There's very little known about it. And yet it's at the hub of all the world's great changes. The purpose of the expedition is to bring to light the value of remote regions in the sea. You name it, it's sort of represented here. I always look at the Arctic as a bit of a bellwether, a sort of canary in the cage in the mine, letting us know what's happening in the rest of the world. Franz Joseph Land itself has this compelling story. It's a place where the biological diversity is not that high. You can go to the South Pole, you can go to Antarctica, you can find rock and ice again. You won't find polar bears there, you won't find little auks there, you won't find ivory gulls there. It's important to preserve it because it is an entire intact ecosystem that's not duplicated anywhere on this planet and for all we know anywhere in the universe. Some people admire medical missionaries, some people admire astronauts or cowboys. I admire field biologists. They are tough people. They're tough physically and they're tough intellectually. What they do is very important and very interesting. This place is melting like a popsicle in Arizona in the summertime. You know, it's, it's going very, very fast. And within all of our lifetimes, the Arctic will be unrecognizable. So this expedition is setting out a high standard, top quality baseline, which isn't just focused on climate and sea ice, but it's focused across the whole food chain. Protecting the waters around Franz Josef Land is important because the entire ecosystem depends on the ocean. Up here is a true wilderness where I can experience the sense of freedom, the sense of dreams and possibilities, and the sense of engaging with nature. That adds to my lifestyle. And let's think about it, there are now 7.1 billion of us we all need to reconnect uh, with the wilderness. It's incredibly essential, it's, an, it's the human condition. We do need the wilderness, it's in us, we're human, we are part of nature. There aren't many true wildernesses left and I feel, and indeed I hope, that in years to come, activities in the Arctic will be steered and sort of mentored in many ways by the success of this expedition.